the star of these films and you haven't had that up till then your whole life and things start to change. Time off, I think, you know, you just need to recharge your batteries a bit. And uh, I just went away. You might start to believe what image has been created about you. I mean, you have to find out who you are, really, and then uh, approach everything else from that viewpoint. interesting to sort of go back to something primal as that in the 13th century and um, you know before they had blenders and toasters and telephones and uh, uh, explore the reality of um, how life must have been and how people must have been and how, the, how their minds worked in another whole time another whole thought way of thought existed back then I'm sure so uh, you know it's always intensely interesting that kind of process I mean, there's just a lot of elements that you had to get together and make um, bring into some kind of harmony so that you could film it and film it the way you wanted to see it. Um, I do enjoy it. Not without its moments of ripping your hair out. Uh, nothing like a challenge to scare the hell out of you, you know. Uh, helps you grow, I guess. expression uh, when you're directing because you really are um, displaying your vision as far as you can on film. Uh, as an actor you can you participate in that and you try and acquaint yourself with the vision of the director but it really is a, it's the overview it's the whole texture and uh, momentum and and everything about the story I mean it's yours. You have to try new fields and try and stretch here and there and, and maybe go back to the other one and do it better than the last time you did it or hmm. you know so long as it keeps you interested and alive and creative and uh, doing things well as you can perceive them it might be rotten but so long as you're having a great time stretched out a little yeah so it was uh, it was quite good it was a tough job actually. it was different from other things you did before yeah well of course you bring a lot of baggage with you you know um, there are certain things that you're known for that you have a forte at and and uh, the, that um, so you can never escape that baggage I mean there's the, the face you can't get away from your own face you can't get away you could I mean with prosthetics and stuff but you know I, that's not what it's about it's about changing the inner Road Warrior was humorous. I think I thought that that was yeah. comedy, but a different kind of comedy. It was a little darker, a little blacker comedy. But it, yeah, I, it, I was given a great deal of scope, trying to play with eccentricities and and to fool with expectations, which is of course the essence of comedy. To set one thing up. wrong with that I mean uh, I um, it was dead I mean she doesn't have to feed it or buy a cage or anything she can just like leave it around
I'm good always relaxed. You, yeah. I'm almost ready to go. I'm, so rela <laughs> I'm really relaxed. Mm. Don't cook sausages in the nude. Don't know. <laughs> Ten dollars a kiss. <laughs> gig I've ever done in my life. And it wasn't as big as Braveheart with all the horses and people and stuff, but it was more, there were more precise things that had to happen in it. He was a brilliant mind. It's a photographic memory. He can learn it, things at a glance. He has a great courage in making a film like this. But this is uh, the ultimate hero story for all mankind. He suffered, died, and he still won. So like he came back to say, look, see, I told you I can. Any given day, I'm drained just from the sheer, uh, you know, just from moving. It's a, it's a very physical and emotional experience for me to try and like realize it and ha have it happen and create an environment for them where it can happen and not dictate too heavily because quite often, you know, you can uh, over overdo it, you know, and you just have to stand back sometimes and just let stuff happen. Once you set it up, trust that it's just going to be there and let it happen and trust the talent. to provide not a filming experience for people, but an experience for people. I want people to understand the reality of the story. I want them to be taken through an experience. I want them to feel. It's just a matter of keeping him in abeyance, you know. Right. So slapping him down with a whip from time to time because uh, when he tends to take over, I tend to get into trouble. <laughs>